copper soared to an all-time high earlier this month, continuing a phenomenal up move that's seen the prices double in the last one year. In fact, global brokerage Goldman Sachs says that the 2020s are expected to be the strongest phase of volume growth in the history of global copper demand. Copper's previous record run happened uh, all the way back in 2011 around the peak of the commodities upcycle which was led by China's rise to economic heavyweight status fueled by massive amounts of raw material. This time around, investors are betting that copper's vital role in the world's shift to green energy will mean surging demand and even higher prices. Meanwhile, copper hit its peak of $4.89 per pound earlier this year, a level of $10,440 a tonne on the London Metals Exchange. It came off a tad last week, only to bounce back once again in yesterday's session. Copper is the third most consumed metal after steel and aluminum and is widely used in a range of industries like uh, construction, telecom, power transmission and of course electronics. After climbing to near decade highs on the LME this year, there are signs that the red metal will become as vital as ever as demand for technologies grows. Even Indian company stocks for that matter, if you look at a Hindalco, a Hindustan Copper, even a Vedanta, all of them gained 5% each. They've been in the limelight on the back of this fabulous rally that we've seen in copper prices. If you look at it, the copper rally essentially began after China's unprecedented steps to control the domestic spread of COVID-19 started yielding results last year. Copper rapidly rebounded. China's super fast recovery, the demand growth along with the country's new steel supply reform, which cuts output and discourages exports. These are the factors which aided the uptick initially. But it's not just China driving the rally. The surge can be partly attributed to the evidence of recovery in other major industrial economies with manufacturing output surging in places, whether it's the US, Germany, Japan, etc. Supply disruptions in mine worldwide has also pushed up the prices. In fact, yesterday we saw copper rebound after its first weekly loss in the last six weeks, lifted by concerns of supply disruptions in Chile. The risk of a strike poses an added threat to output from the top copper mining country, which is already facing a potential giant tax hike. So investors are betting that copper's vital role in the world's shift to green energy will mean further surge in demand, implying higher prices. Now, Goldman Sachs has argued that moving the global economy toward net zero emissions remains a core driver for the structural bull market in the commodities uh, segment for commodities demand in which green metals copper in particular will be very critical. Electric vehicles contain about four times as much copper as a conventional car and vast amounts of copper wiring will also be needed in roadside charges to keep these EVs going. So EV push definitely is a big uh, uh, driver as well for demand. Goldman in fact projects that uh, copper is on a necessary path to $15 per ton level. So that's the kind of uh, uh, projections, that's the kind of expectations they have on the back of all of these demand levers and triggers that are in place for copper demand.